Praise the Lord. Welcome to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I'm excited to come right where you are with the word of the living God. Let us pray. Precious Father, we commit this program into your holy hands. We thank you for the spirit of life. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Speak through me for the life of your people. Touch the life of those that will hear the sound of my voice. Anoint their ears to hear, their eyes to see. Give them grace and faith to receive the ministry that Jesus committed to the church. The healing of the nations, the healing of our body, our deliverance, our restoration. Thank you for the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, Father. We give you praise, glory, and honor. I release anointing right now to begin to flow, touching the life of many, Father, stretch forth thy hands, reveal the glory of Jesus, reveal the hand of the Lord to save the lost, to deliver the oppressed, and to set the captives free. My God and my Father, do something new for your glory and for your power. Heal us once more. Deliver us once more. Restore our lives that we may give glory to your name. Deliver us from the hands of the wicked. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and mercy. I pray everyone watching me, let the Lord touch you. Let the hand of the Lord be upon you. Let the glory of the Lord cover your life. Let the powers of darkness and the assignment of wickedness against you be destroyed. As you hear the sound of my voice, may the faith of God come unto you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We're going to receive a worship song, and after that, then... I will come back and bring the word of God and pray for you. Remember that with God, all things are possible. God bless you. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Oh, for his mercies in your red forever. Amen. For his mercies in your red forever. Amen. For his mercy is in your red forever. Amen. Amen. For his mercy is in your red forever. Amen. Oh, for his mercy is in your red forever. Amen. For his mercy is in your red forever. Amen. For his mercy is in your red forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For his mercy is in your reign forever. Amen. For his mercy is in your reign forever. Amen. For, for God's mercy is in your reign forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for his mercy is in your reign forever. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. For his mercy is in your reign forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. For his mercy is in your reign forever. For his mercy is in your reign forever. Amen. For his mercy is in your reign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. For God's mercy is in your reign forever. Amen. For God's mercy is in your reign forever. 
Praise the Lord. Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. I am excited. Reminding us as we worship the mercies of God, they endure to all generations. In every situation, God is merciful. God is gracious. His loving kindness, you can't comprehend it. In every situation, in every circumstances, God's mercy is gracious. According to the records we have in Scripture, people like King David testified of his loving kindness, his mercy, his loving kindness, his mercy. There was a time that Moses, uh, David counted the number of Israel, and God was not pleased. And God brings judgment on David. And God said to him, I'll give you an option. Do you want Femai? Do you want to fall into the hands of your enemies for three months? Or do you want me to bring a judgment on you, myself? David cried out and said, O oh Lord, do not allow me to fall into the hands of men. Because they don't have mercy. Their judgment is swift. But you let me fall into your hands. Because in your judgment, your mercy overwhelms. Your loving kindness overwhelms. You are full of it. You will show me mercy. And you will be gracious to me. But men will not. For God's mercy endures forever. You listen to the story of Hezekiah when he was confronted with three kings at the valley of Tokua. Bible says that he was grieved Fear came upon him. He declared a fast for three days and they fasted. As they fasted, a prophet rose up and said to him, In this is your battle you are fighting. In this battle that is before you, you don't need to fight. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. The next day, they gathered and the army gathered to march forward. Hezekiah put the musicians in front to sing to the glory of the Lord. Hezekiah said to the people, believe in the Lord. You will be established. Believe in his servants, the prophets. 
you will prosper. He chose musicians to sing to the glory of their Lord. And that was the song that we are singing. Glory be to God in the highest. For his mercies endures forever. So in your life, sing a song declaring your faith in God. Glory be to God in the highest for his mercy endure it forever. And the Bible says, as they sang this song before the Lord, and they marched forward before the Lord, the Lord's hands moved in the camp of their enemies, and their enemies pulled their own sword and began to kill themselves. They began to kill themselves. They began to kill themselves. Kapoli Sandaya. The sang to the glory of the Lord for his mercy endure it forever. I want you to sing to the glory of the Lord in your life, in your family, in your marriage, in your finances. If you are troubled in your heart, if you are afflicted with plagues, if, if you have strength, say, God, show me your mercy. Lord, remember your mercy. Lord, show me your mercy. Lord, remember your mercy. So I want to remind you, the mercy of God is more than you can comprehend it. Praise God Almighty. Today, I want to talk about the weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our warfare. We have not been left empty-handed. God has armed us strongly with weapons that cannot be defeated by any enemy. We are highly wired from heaven not to be defeated. Number one, I look at the church. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. No gate of hell can prevail against the church. The builder is Christ himself. The owner of the church is Jesus Christ himself. We are servants of Jesus. He gave us weapon. And I want you to remind yourself that you are not empty hand. There are weapons of God in your hands to use. Hallelujah. Let's look at the book of 2 Corinthians. I'm reading from chapter 10. Chapter 10, I'm interested in verse 3, but let me read from verse 1. Now I, Paul, myself, I am pleading with you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence I am lowly among you, but being absent I am bold towards you. But I beg you that when I am present, I may not be bold with the confidence by which I intend to be bold against some who think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Praise God. Now he begins to speak in verse 3. He said that, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. Remember that. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. There are times people have said to us, we are not in a war, but I want to let you know we are in a war. As long as you believe, as long as you're a child of God, the very day you gave your life to Jesus, war was declared. But the joy you need to have is that you've been given weapons that cannot be defeated. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. The weapons given to us are not carnal. Remind yourself that. And second, why would God give us weapon if it was intended for us not to use it? Why would God give us weapon if it was not necessary? Remind yourself that every day you live here on earth, your life will be challenged by issues of life. Your life will be challenged by forces outside your control, forces beyond you. 
Karia rabos kelemondo se libra hataya manda kapaya. Jesus was de- declaring to them when they were talking about John the Baptist. He said to them, <laughs> since creation, there is not one person that can be compared to this man you call John the Baptist. But the least in the new covenant is greater. Then he says that the kingdom of God suffered a violence, but the violent take it by force. Ooh, shalamande. The kingdom suffers violence. So there is a violent assault against the church. There is a violent attack against believers. There is plan from the kingdom of darkness to stop your existence, to stop you praying. But I thank God that no matter what the enemy puts together, the Bible have given you an assurance that there is no weapon that is formed against you that shall prosper. And that every tongue that will rise up against you in judgment, you have the right to condemn it. And your righteousness is from God. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. For the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Casting down arguments and everything, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. So, I want to remind you, we are in a war. There is a war raging. But the beauty of the war is that You've been wired from heaven never to lose. I prophesy to you, you will not lose. God Almighty is with you. He has already armed you with weapons of warfare that you may not be able to be subdued by the forces of darkness. We are in a war. Remind yourself, Jesus spoke in the Gospel of John chapter 10. Verse 10, he says that the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Remind yourself, there are three ministries that you need to be aware of. The ministry, the enemy has, is to steal, to steal your joy, to steal your peace, to steal your resources, to kill you where necessary. To destroy whatever gives you joy and peace. His ministry is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I came into your life so that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus has come. The provision is that you may have life and be full of life. That's why the first thing the Lord gave you was salvation. He removed your name from the kingdom of darkness. Translated your name to the kingdom of life. So anytime they call your name, they say, no, he's no more part of this kingdom. He's part of the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. Second, the Lord put his word in your mouth so that you can have the word of God, the double-edged sword. The Lord also put his spirit in you, with you and upon you, the spirit of the living God. Is with you. So that the spirit of God in you. We continue to revive your life. Quicken your life. Give you strength day by day. And lead you in warfare through prayer. 
and help you to overcome every trial and every temptation that the enemy will throw on you. You are wired. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God for the pulling down of every word stronghold. Is there any stronghold the enemy has built around your life, around your family, that you will not move forward, that you will not be established, that you will not leave? Is there any stronghold standing to oppose you? I was reading the same book in Corinthians here. Paul, the apostle, was writing. He said that there are many doors that are open to me. But there are many adversaries. Many doors are open to me. Many opportunities are open to me. There are things God has given to me to do. There are provisions God has made for me. But I am opposed from every side. But with this opposition, nothing can stop the work of God. Nothing can stop the plan of God for your life. Nothing can cut you short before your time. You will be victorious. You will make it. Declare with me, say, I will make it. The Lord is with me. I will reach my destination. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against me in judgment, I condemn it. Every tongue that have risen up against you in judgment, I condemn it. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Casting down argument and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing into captivity every thought, every plan, every weapon, everything the enemy has set up. We bring them into captivity. We imprison them. We declare them powerless. We nullify, we cancel every argument, every judgment. Every insinuation the enemy has set up, every method we revoke, we cancel, we destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you look at the book of Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, if you look at it from verse 10. <laughs> this is what the scripture is writing. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Did you hear that? So the strength and the power by which the Lord has wired your life is not your own. It's from him. So he said to you, you be strong. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Not my carnal strength. Not my physical ability. But in the strength that God gives to those that love him. And those that follow him. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the power of his might. That's why when you are praying, you really pray, brother. Because when you pray, the glory of the Lord comes upon you. The fresh oil of the Lord descends upon you. The anointing comes upon you. So pray. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor. Don't take only one. Put the whole armor. Karabos and Abaya. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age against the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore 
Having she guarded yourself with the truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Brother, sister, if you will follow the principles, the things that the Lord has given to you, through the reading of the Word of God, the studying of the Word of God, the knowledge of the Word of God, and you put them in practice, not just hearing them, but put them in practice. Take the shield of faith. Study the Word of God and let faith arise within you. Pray with prayer, supplication. Stand on the truth. Live a righteous life. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. For the pulling down of every stronghold and everything that will rise up against the knowledge of God. So whatever the enemy throws on you, God has wired you with power and might to stop and quench the fiery dust of the wicked. To bind the spirit of wickedness, to bind the forces of wickedness and to command them to stay in their place and not trespass into your own territory. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be revived in your spirit. Be healed in your body. Be delivered from the oppression of the evil one. Let your spirit arise. Let faith arise within you. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive a touch of God. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be, so Be touched right now. Receive that touch. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive it in the name of Jesus and let your life be revived. Let your soul be revived. Let your body be healed from sickness and disease. Reject anything the enemy has thrown upon you and rejoice in the Lord. And remember, His mercy endured to all generations. The mercy of the Lord endured to all generations. Remember that His loving kindness towards you is so great. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against you in judgment, you shall condemn it. Arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise and shine. For the glory of the living God has risen upon you. The Holy Ghost in you. Christ in you. The hope of glory. The word of the Lord in you. The sword of the Spirit. Receive a fresh baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to take a short break and I'll come back and we'll continue. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Praise the Lord. Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I am so grateful to God for the opportunity to share and to come right where you are. I'm so grateful for some of you that are watching us on the Facebook, some are watching us on the YouTube, and you are watching us also now live on television, wherever you are. There is no distance. The Lord God is with us. And what he has started in our life, he will perfect for his glory. Whatever the Lord has started in our lives, he will finish it for his glory. Remember that the weapons of your warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. Kusalamanda. You are not ordinary. You are highly wired from heaven. I'm going to open up the phone so that those of you that want me to pray for you, you can call in and I'll pray for you. You can call right now if you want me to pray for you, if you want me to agree with you, whatever it is, call. The line is open. The line is open. You can call. Let's agree. Why do I crave to pray for you? It's the will of the Lord. Say, so wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them, me and you. Together in the spirit, we can move mountains. Jesus said, whoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and have no doubt in his heart, he shall receive what he saith. So I want to say things into your heart, into your body, into your mind, into your joints, into your bone marrows. I want to say things that will cause blessing. Yes, caller. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Good, good morning. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, this is Brother Chile. Brother Chile. Yeah. How, praise God. It's nice to hear from you. Yes, uh, I'm calling is concerning. Yes, I'm calling is concerning my health. Yes. Yes, concerning my health, so I've been having some challenges for the weeks now. Mm -hmm. And I've been having some feeling cough. Okay. And uh, some breathing difficulty. Yes. Yeah. So do you. pain on my back. All right. Do you believe that God can heal sicknesses? Yes. All right. Do you want me to pray for you? Yes, sir. All right. Re repeat this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come to you right now. I come to you right now. I put my confidence in you. I put my confidence in you. I trust you, Almighty God. I trust you, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I claim my healing right now. I claim my healing right now. I reject every sickness. I reject every sickness. In my body. In my body. I destroy every power of infirmity. I reject every sickness. I destroy every power of infirmity. I destroy every power of infirmity. I want you to listen carefully on your phone. Don't listen on the television. Listen on your phone. Do you understand me? Yes. Please listen on your phone. Don't listen on television. Listen on your phone. I destroy every power of infirmity. I destroy the power of the infirmity. Against my life. Against my life. I disconnect my life. Against my life. I disconnect my life. I disconnect against my life. Disconnect. I disconnect my life. I disconnect my life. From every assignment of the enemy. Every assignment of the enemy. I claim my healing right now. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you praise. I worship you. I worship. I honor you. I honor. And I glorify your name. I glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I prayed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to pray for you now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the power and anointing of the Holy Ghost over your life. I cover your mind, your spirit, your soul, and your body with the blood of Jesus. I break every yoke of darkness over your life. I destroy every power of the evil one over your life. I lose you. I disconnect you. I demand your healing. I demand your freedom. I lose you in the name of Jesus. Be set free from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be set free now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. God bless you, my dear brother. God bless you. God bless you. The fire of the Holy Ghost is upon you right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost is on you. Receive it. Receive that touch. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you. Wherever you are, do you have the faith in God to believe God for your healing through the ministry of prayer? Call. Yes, caller. Hello. Hello, sir. Bless you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm watching you right now. Praise God. Yes, sir. Miss, can I have prayer for healing? Yes. What do you want me to pray for? Chest, chest pain and my, and my throat. Chest pain and throat. For God to lay his hand of his healing hand upon me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All right, pray with me, say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I declare my faith in your name. I declare my faith in your name. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is my Lord and my Savior. Is my Lord and my Savior. He died on the cross of Calvary for me. He died on the cross of Calvary for me. My sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. And sickness have no power over me. And sickness has no power over me. By the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus. I command every pain in my body to live now. I command every pain in my body to live now. I command every sickness in my body to die from the root. I command every sickness in my body to die from the root. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cover my mind with the blood of Jesus. I cover my mind with the blood of Jesus. I cover my soul with the blood of Jesus. I cover my soul with the blood of Jesus. I cover my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my household with the blood of Jesus. I cover my household with the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus speak for me now. Speak for me now. For my healing and deliverance. For my healing and deliverance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I give you praise. I give you praise. I worship you. I worship I you. honor you. I honor you. I glorify your name. I glorify your name. Jesus. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for your promises. Healing is a bread for the children. Healing is a bread for your children. I eat the bread of life. I eat the bread of life. The bread of healing power of Jesus. The healing, the healing by the power of Jesus. I receive it now. I receive it now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my dear sister. God bless you. Let's rejoice in the Lord and give God praise. Hallelujah. As you go off the phone, lift your hand and just worship the Lord. Give him praise. Worship him. Give him honor. Father, we thank you. We praise you. You made a promise to us that healing is a bread for your children. Healing is a bread for the children. We receive the healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, my dear sister. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Wherever you are, the line is open. You want me to agree with you. Why am I doing it? Because Jesus commanded us. He said, and you shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. You shall speak to this mountain, be removed, and the mountain will obey you. Yes, caller. Hello. Hello, Bishop. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'm calling for prayer. What prayer do you want us to pray for you? I just need strength. I'm, I'm very sick, so I'm a bit weak. You're weak in your body, and you need strength in your body. Yes. All right, let's follow the word of God. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Say, I am strong. I am strong. Say it again. Strong. Say it again. I am strong. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am strong. I am strong. I receive strength. I receive strength from my heavenly father. From my heavenly father. I receive healing. I receive healing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I reject sickness. I reject sickness. I reject infirmities. I reject the, the, the infirmities. Infirmities. I reject every plan of the devil. I reject every plan of the devil. I reject every attack of the devil. I reject every attack of the devil. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive my healing now. I receive my healing now. I claim my healing right 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 now. In Jesus' name. 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 Shout amen. Amen. Shout it again. Amen. Shout it again. Amen. Shout it again. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, be healed and be set free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare you set free. Be loose right now. Amen. I cancel every plan of the enemy against you. Amen. I break every yoke of sickness over your life. Amen. Be loose and be set free now in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Worship the Lord now. Give him praise. Father, we give you praise. Father, we, give you praise. we worship we you, Lord. We Father, honor you. We, we glorify you. your name. We praise and adore you, Lord. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for the joy that you give to our hearts, O oh God. We trust you, Lord. Let them be scattered that have gathered against you. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Every force of hell, every power of darkness, every sickness, every infirmity. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Them be scattered. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you, my dear sister. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you. Wherever you are, the power of God is flowing like liquid fire. The power of the Almighty God is flowing like liquid fire. Like the man by the pool of Bethesda. Step in. Yes, caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Hi, Pastor. Yes. I'm asking you for a prayer. What do you want us to pray for? Um, 
I'm healing in my body, I'm from my head. Stretch your hands to me, stretch your hands to me. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive your anointing right now. I receive your anointing now. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. By your spirit and your power. For your spirit and your power. Heal me now. Heal me now. Deliver me now. Deliver me now. Set me free now. Deliver me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus, in, Jesus in, Jesus in Jesus name. 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 I receive. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Receive, 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 receive. Be set free. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Rabo Salamanda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The fire of the Holy Ghost is on you. Thank you. The fire is on you, my dear sister. Thank you. The devil is a liar. He can't kill you. Thank you. Fire of the Holy Ghost is upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. Thank you. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are, pick your phone and call. The anointing is flowing. And wherever you are, as I'm praying, there is no distance in the realm of the Spirit and there is no limit on what God can do. For the Bible says, for with God, all things are possible. For with God, for with God, all things are possible. For with God, all things are possible. For with God, for with God. If you put your trust and confidence in the Lord, for with God, all things are possible. Jesus said, whoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. If you have no doubt in your heart, you will receive what you say. The Spirit of the Lord God is moving to heal you, to deliver you, to set you free. Wherever you are, you want a touch of God. You want God to touch you. You want God to touch you. You want God to touch you. Pick that phone and call. Pick your phone and call and we will agree together. The Bible says, whatsoever two or three shall agree together. It shall be established for them. When we pray, we are coming into agreement with the word of God. And God becomes the third witness. Because we, his word is what we are relying upon. We are trusting his word. His promises in Christ Jesus. They are yea and they are amen. Jesus said in the gospel of John, The works that I do, greater work shall you do because I go to the Father. For with God, all things are possible. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The weapons that we use for exploit, they are not carnal. They are weapons given to us by God. Our faith in his word. Our prayer that we lift up to him in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, if you ask the Father anything in my name, I am not here in my name. I am here in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the one who died on the cross of Calvary, the one who was buried, and the one who was raised from the dead, now seated at the right hand of the Father. He cannot lie. If you ask anything in my name, the Father will do it. Karabo Sandala Bahaya. Father, I am asking you, that you will touch the life of your people. As many that are watching me right now, there are some of them that are bound in the spirit of fear. 
They are afraid of tomorrow morning. They are afraid of what will happen the next day. Father, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. I break every yoke of fear, every control of wickedness, every fear in the atmosphere, every fear in the nations, every fear the enemy have released to control the minds of many. I break the yoke of fear. I destroy the power of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. I cast the fear back to abyss where it belongs. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release the faith of Christ. Faith to live. Declare with me, I will live. I will not die to declare the works of God. Declare it. I will live and not die to declare the works of God. Declare with me, say, I will reach my destination. My life shall be established. What God has started in my life, no man can stop it. No power can stop it. I am of Christ. I am of God. The blood of Jesus is speaking for you. The Bible says, for he himself carried all our infirmities, all our weaknesses. For he himself carried all our infirmities by whose stripes we were healed. Jesus carried all your sickness, all your defeat, all your worry, all your anxiety, all your fear. He carried it while he was on the cross. The shame, they put it on him. I will never be put to shame. You will never be put to shame. Jesus carried your shame, your disappointment, your failure. Jesus carried it by whose stripes you were healed. Bible said that Jesus was flogged with a Roman whip embedded in the whip as stones and glasses. So when they whipped him, they tore his flesh. So the prophet said that his body or his visage was made more than any other man. They put him to shame. They wounded him so that through those wounds, Stripes, you will be healed from sickness and diseases. Jesus paid the price of your sickness. Jesus paid the price for your disease. Jesus paid the price for everything the enemy will throw on you. And now he's asking you to put your faith in his name. Kapolia Messiah. Even in the natural, Hezekiah put faith. In the word of God. The prophet said in this battle that you're fighting. You don't need to fight. God will fight for you. In the natural the man believed. And put singers in the war front to sing. While the army is behind. And the Bible said as they sang. The glory of the Lord moved. And entered the camp of the enemy. I declare your enemies confused. Right now in the name of Jesus. I decree your enemies confused in the name of Jesus. I break every yoke of darkness over your life, every yoke of darkness over your family, every yoke of darkness trying to control and rule over you. I break their yokes right now in the name of Jesus. I lose you and I demand your freedom. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be healed. Be set free. Be healed. Be set free. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, the great I am. My God and my Father, I trust you. Father, as many that are hearing me right now, wherever they are, let this anointing that is upon me touch them, heal them, deliver them, set them free, heal them, deliver them, set them free, heal them, deliver them, set them free. I silence the voice of wickedness, the voices of accusation and judgment, reason against us. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Every Ahitophel sitting to judge the works of God, I declare your seat of authority desolate. I declare your seat of authority desolate. Everyone the enemy have raised up to accuse and judge and condemn and destroy the work of God. I declare your seat of authority to be made desolate in the name of Jesus. 
the church will arise. We will arise. We will do the works of God. For this is not of man. This is of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I want to encourage you as I pray for you for healing. And I pray for you for deliverance. And I pray for you. If you have any doctor's report, listen to your doctor's report. Follow your doctor's report. In fact, if I pray for you and God heal you, take yourself to your doctor. Let them examine you. Jesus said to the lepers, go and show yourself to the priest. Because it is the priest that validates healing. Even so, show yourself to your doctor. Let them confirm that the hand of the Lord have touched you, that you've been healed and delivered by the power of God through prayer. Hallelujah. Never take laws into your own hands. Obey the law of the land and do the will of God. Faith in Christ Jesus is the ultimate weapon. Faith in the word of God is the ultimate weapon. Your prayer has power to set you free from the powers of darkness and to help you in your journey of life. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord raise you up above your fellows. May the gates of wickedness against you, may they bow to you. May the glory of God cover your life, cover your family, cover your finances, cover everything the Lord has put under your charge. May the glory of God cover you and lead you forward. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The phone is there. Take the phone, the one under. Take that phone, you go straight to my office and call my office. If you want to speak to me in a personal capacity, do that. I look forward to seeing you again, same time, same time. I'm excited. I'm excited. I feel the power of the Almighty God, the glory of God. Take that phone. It goes straight to my desk. That phone you see on the screen goes to my desk. You can call me. You can go to our website. You can download my app. You can listen to me 24 hours on your mobile phone. Download my app. Listen to my radio 24 hours. Listen to our TV 24 hours on the internet. Download my app. Bishop Simon Ihanacho. Download it. Go to your app store. Put my name in the app store. Bishop Simon, Ihanacho. Put it there. And download the personalized app. It will help you to listen to the word of God 24 hours nonstop. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. May the peace of God guard your heart. May the glory of God cover you. May the blood of Jesus speak for you. See you again soon. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Ooh,